What's up guys? So today I'm gonna do another video on how I start editing my commercials for a client. So let's get to it. We are in Premiere Pro. Uh, you want to make sure you have the latest updated version. From there, I am going to create a folder or bin named Video Files. So that that bin, I'll create another one called Sony A7S3 because that's what we have. Once I have that folder open, I'm going to go over to media or find where the files are at I am going to import all now this is about 50 gigs of footage uh, we're shooting a 4k uh, I think 10 bit it's just taking a little bit longer than usual once everything's here I'm gonna make sure it's all numbered properly in order you can see that it's not. To my name. Now that I have this, control all, or could we command all if you're on a Mac? I'm gonna proxies, create proxies. Create proxies next original medium proxy folder. You're gonna make it super easy for the computer to find these for you. Um, that's done. That's gonna send over to media encoder. You're gonna make sure you have this in your computer as well. So the reason I don't like this shot particularly is just because here all that looks blown out. So those are the things, and also the garbage can is there. So those are like the little things that you always wanna kind of just keep an eye out for. So pretty much now I have all these front shots of the warehouse just to group everything together. I'm just gonna go ahead and label this. Now I'll just start off with the first one going down, makes it a lot easier. Not trying to pick a bunch of different crazy colors. All right, big smile, we got the camera. Time to make a laugh. So these already know, I uh, ended up changing the background on here, but it was like the little things that make a big difference, right? You see that product there versus here. Those are like the little detail things that you want to start looking for when you're producing commercials like this and make a big difference. Like that's just a lot of empty room here. Um, I mean, they're finding that sign, right? So just things you want to look out for when you're working these kind of projects. <laughs> Same thing here, like we had them carry it like this, but in action, it just looks That's weird. Like so now I was like, hey, let's try with it down. It's a little awkward there, but I'm just gonna throw that clip in there. Honestly, like I, yeah, I usually shoot with the uh, A7. S3 with the Sigma 24 to 70, never have a problem. This shoe here, I never saw the lens struggle so much to keep things in focus. And I've done like all different types of like tests and stuff with it, never had a problem. This shoe here, I could not get the like faces to get in focus. I couldn't get the product to stay in focus. And I was shooting at 2.8, but I still think it could have done a better job.
pretty much just reviewed everything. Um, I'll probably just take a quick break, uh, give myself some fresh eyes before I come into the second part of the edit. The other thing is I do have another camera that we used, uh, but I do not have that footage. Yeah, so I'm gonna wait for that footage, but other than that, I'm gonna start laying down the commercial as well. So I'm gonna wrap it here.